What's good everybody, it's BBK Dragoon, and welcome back to my Warframe Beginner's Guide. Today I want to talk to you about Platinum. Thanks for your patience, I'm in a transition right now, so if the mic sounds a little bit more echoey, and unfortunately I'm on a, a little bit louder keyboard, it's got blue switches, so it's fairly clicky. I apologize about that, but it should be resolved by the next portion of the guide. Platinum. A lot of people asking, how do I get Platinum? What should I use Platinum for? Should I be buying Platinum? So first of all, I'm gonna talk about farming platinum from the perspective of us being right now at Saturn and Jupiter, basically at this point in the star chart. There are a lot of really great ways to farm platinum that you're gonna have access to a little bit later that you probably don't have access to at this point, okay? So with that in mind, this is not the most efficient way to farm the maximum amount of platinum, but I am gonna to talk to you about different ways that you can start farming platinum right now. Platinum is useful in buying cosmetics, Warframe slots, weapon slots, and a couple of other things, but I really recommend, especially to newer players, only spending your Platinum on Warframe slots. We can sell weapons that we're not gonna use, so you, you don't have to pour a ton of resources into the weapon slot portion, but Warframe slots, especially if you wanna be collecting more frames, is fairly important. Now, Platinum is earned by trading with other players in the game. So when we talk about farming platinum, we're really talking about farming items that you're going to trade with other players. So mods are one of those things that are traded very regularly. Prime sets and prime parts are also traded very regularly. When you come over here to your syndicates, uh, which we've talked very briefly about syndicates before, you'll notice here that you can actually get some pretty sweet mods as you rank up with your syndicate these some of these mods go for pretty decent prices and since you're already just playing the game day to day when you earn more standing with these guys you're going to be given the option to earn more of these rewards which you can then in turn trade for platinum now if that didn't make sense don't worry about it because i'm going to just walk you through a simple set of steps here now if we bring up the T key and we find the trading channel and we, we dive into this madness, this is where you can actually try and, you know, trade. You see all these guys, um, let's see here. I want to sell the Euphona Prime for 70 Platinum and the Fragor Prime for 30, that's pretty expensive, Fragor Prime for 30 Platinum. And this is basically it's just, you know, telling everybody, hey, message me if you want these items for these prices, um, want to buy, then somebody's saying want to sell, that kind of a thing here. This is madness. This channel is absolute madness, and most players end up using a website called warframe.market, which I'm gonna show you in just a second. So, I, in the next video, will be showing you guys about corrupted mod farming, but let's go find heavy caliber. So I do have a heavy caliber here. This is a mod that I got from the uh, Oricon Vault, and I'm gonna talk to you guys about that. It's a corrupted mod. And I know this mod usually goes for about 20 to 30 platinum on warframe.market. But let's say I found this rare mod or I have some of these extra rare mods. I'm then gonna go over to this website. It's called warframe.market. You link your Warframe account with this. And then if you start to search the name of that mod, you'll see here, Heavy Caliber. When I click it, like scroll down here, make sure it's the correct mod. And I see here all these people who are selling it. It also tells me if they're online and in the game. And looky there, bunch of people trying to sell it. Looks like 25 to 30 platinum is the, the correct amount. I don't know why you have some of these higher inflated prices. Sometimes mods, when they're fully upgraded, people will bump the prices up. So I would imagine that uh, these 200 plat people are fully upgraded ones or just trying to play on, prey on people who don't regularly know the price. So let's say I wanted to go buy this particular mod. I'd make note of you know the name and then I would go back into Warframe. I'd send a message to that person through the chat and say, hey, I saw you on Warframe.market. I wanna buy this from you, let's trade. And at that point, if they reply back and they wanna trade, you can go to Maru's Bazaar. You can agree to meet up at Maru's Bazaar to trade. If you are in a clan, however, you'll go to your dojo or perhaps the person that you're trading with, their dojo will have a you know, they'll have a dojo and they'll invite you to that. So I'm gonna fly into our dojo real quick and show you the trading post. 
it's easiest if you have a, a dojo is a clan basically but um the clan house so here's the training post in our clan house what i would do if i wanted to buy that i message the person in game hey leafy can i buy that thing and they're like sure that's be yeah that'd be great so once i'm in the dojo i'm gonna invite them they're gonna show up here i'm gonna click right here if there was somebody in here you'd click their name and you'd begin the trade okay and that's how you trade for stuff that's how you trade for platinum now what I would recommend doing for you guys if you're interested in making some platinum after I leave the dojo here, a few things. First of all, probably the most effective way for you guys right now is farming prime sets from your lith relics. So let's come back down to the lith relics here. Within your lith relics, obviously, there's prime parts. We've talked about lith relics before, uh, meso, void relics, whatever, sorry. Your, your relics, okay? The void relics. You got the meso, the neo, the axi, that kind of stuff. It's not just all liths, so apologies for my misspeaking here. But let's say that you've put together and you farmed the necros prime neuroptics. Well, let's go double check what that goes for on warframe.market. So necros prime neuroptics, look at that. It's going for like 20 platinum. That's pretty sweet. However, a lot of times people charge a bit extra if you do the entire set. So let's say you farm the entire Necros Prime set. Woo, boy, look at that. This looks like, you know, on average, maybe 100 to 150 platinum for this full set. That's not bad. And so essentially, let's say I farmed up my Necros Prime set. I'm going to list it here on Warframe Market, make sure that it knows when I'm online. And from that point forward, you're just sort of waiting for a buyer. That's why it's pretty good to put up a wide array of things onto the market that you want to, you know, trade and sell. A lot of times, um, and obviously we're talking about the blueprints. You're, you're not going to be trading the parts. You're not going to build the parts because you can't trade those once it's been built. But um, certain things like the Trinity Prime. I wanted the Trinity Prime set quite a bit, and there was a really good deal on Warframe.market. So... I got, I think, the full blueprint set for something like 80 platinum or maybe less. I can't even remember if that's a good deal or not, but this was like months ago. And that was, there are people who seek the prime frames on here. You might note also um, the most recent primes. Now, there was just a brand new prime that came out, but the most recent primes go for pretty cheap. So there's Mirage Prime. She is what, like, yeah, really expensive. So 80 bucks. And you also get 2,625 platinum with the deal too. So let's go look at what Mirage Prime is on Warframe Market. Okay, so the Mirage, look at this. Look at the, the Mirage Prime set is going for like 200 platinum all over the place. So if you are one of those players who wants the Prime sets like off the bat without having to farm them, you, you see there's a huge discount here by just buying things through Mirage, uh, mm -hmm. th through the Warframe.market. So void relics are a really good way if you're going to be farming up prime sets. There's a lot of junk that you're going to get. I do recommend in those void missions that you do it with others because like we talked about last time, when you do a void mission with others at the very end, you get to select their rewards if there's something better. So definitely play those missions with friends or with the public matchmaking option. Now we have talked before about farming rare mods from the void. Ucko being the best node to do this, but you guys probably don't have access to Neptune just yet. However, we did talk about Teshub being a really good spot to also farm a few rare mods. It's not going to have the full drop table that Ucko does, but you can still get some rare mods. If you haven't seen the Void Container mod video, I'm going to link it on screen right now. Just by playing the game, you're going to accumulate quite a bit of rare mods, and you may want to sell some of these, especially as you're doing void container farming. It's worthwhile looking up on Warframe.market what some of these run. And obviously, we're going to be getting into much more high-value mods in the next episode when we talk about corrupted mod farming. But just hop in here, take a look at your rares, see if you have any extras. We'll go look and see, okay, I've got three Seeking Furies. I don't think they're that awesome, but let's go take a look in what they sell for. Okay, so it looks like five platinum, right? Well, I can throw that up there. Don't expect to have huge cash hauls when it comes to platinum right off the bat, especially at this point in the game, but you can begin pulling some platinum in as you just are playing, as you're doing your void relics, and as you continue leveling up your syndicate. Syndicates are not going to be your best bet until you're a little bit more experienced and further in the game. A few other places that you can earn this platinum from it's not just selling mods, selling syndicate augments can be a good way to do it as well. 
Um, ranked mods sell for more, so if you rank a full mod up, you can sell it for more. So farming endo and farming credits to rank those mods up is a good way to inadvertently, you know, farm platinum in the background. Corrupted mods we'll talk about in the next episode. And then finally, nightmare mods. If you have gone and ran nightmare missions and gotten some nightmare mods, those are some valuable things to sell as well. A few final words about Platinum. Like I said, I would spend it mainly on Warframe slots, especially at this point in the game. And a few notes about buying Platinum. The only time I recommend buying, buying Platinum is when you have your daily login. And sometimes you'll get a reward that will give you a 50% discount on Platinum. I would always wait for these if you intend on buying Platinum outright because a 50% discount is a huge deal. And I just think if you can wait, obviously wait for those discounts from the daily logins. I think I've found that I've gotten one probably once every maybe 10 to 15 in-game days. Not playtime, but you know the little daily login reward type deal. The next video will be extremely in-depth. We're talking about corrupted mod farming, which I think for many of you will be a really fun big step uh, forward, and it's really where the game unlocks itself into a more... Uh, you, you start getting a taste of like some really, really powerful mods, which was, at, you know, when I first did it, like really cool. It was one of those, oh man, Warframe unfolding into something bigger and better. If you have any tips, anything that I missed regarding Platinum, like I said, this is just a very, very beginner look at Platinum. We can get way more in depth later on once you have some nodes unlocked and are further along in the star chart, and we probably will. But I do appreciate the comments that are being left by you guys. I'm trying to pin and upvote a lot of the really helpful experienced player comments. So take a look down there as it's, this has just been a really uh, big community effort. So thank you very much for watching. Keep pushing your star chart along and that corrupted mod farming video will be here uh, as soon as I can make it. So thanks very much. If you found this helpful, please thumbs the video up. Have a great start to your 2018, and I will talk to you next time.